You can replace all of the bulbs located in the headlight via the engine compartment. I will explain how, but show the views of the bulbs with the headlights removed for clarity. The green arrow points to the low beam bulb, the yellow arrow points to the turn signal bulb. The blue arrow points to the high beam bulb. The red arrow points to the front driving light bulb. This bulb illuminates the high beam capsule. If you're replacing the left side bulbs, move the coolant reservoir aside. Remove the coolant reservoir fastener, green arrow, and move it aside. If you're replacing the right side bulbs, you will have to squeeze past the anti-lock brake hydraulic unit. This is the left side headlight assembly as viewed from the rear. Reverse the bulb positions for the right side. The green arrow points to the low beam bulb. The yellow arrow points to the turn signal parking bulb. The blue arrow points to the high beam bulb. The red arrow points to the front driving light bulb. This bulb illuminates the high beam capsule. This view shows the left side electrical connectors with the headlight pulled forward. Reverse the positions for the right side. All of the connectors are accessible by reaching under the radiator support. The green arrow points to the low beam electrical connector. You will not disconnect this when replacing the bulb. The yellow arrow points to the turn signal parking bulb electrical connector. You will also not disconnect this when replacing the bulb. The yellow arrow points to the turn signal parking bulb electrical connector. You will not disconnect this when replacing the bulb. The blue arrow points to the high beam bulb electrical connector. The red arrow points to the front driving light bulb electrical connector. This bulb illuminates the high beam capsule. To disconnect an electrical connector, press the release tab and then pull the connector straight off. Turn signal parking bulb. Working at the outside top of the headlight assembly, rotate the bulb holder 45 degrees counterclockwise and remove it from the headlight. Remove the bulb from the holder and replace it with a new one. Driving light bulb. Working at the inside bottom of the headlight assembly, disconnect the electrical connector. Press the release tab and pull the connector straight off. Rotate the bulb holder 45 degrees counterclockwise and remove it from the headlight. Remove the bulb from the holder and replace it with a new one. High beam bulb. Working at the inside top of the headlight assembly, disconnect the electrical connector. Press the release tab and pull the connector straight off. Rotate the bulb holder 45 degrees counterclockwise and remove it from the headlight and replace it with a new one. To access the high beam bulb, rotate the access door as indicated by the red arrow 30 degrees and remove it from the headlight. Be sure not to lose the rubber sealing o-ring. Rotate the high beam bulb holder 30 degrees and remove it from the headlight. The electrical connector, red arrow, will automatically unplug when rotated. Squeeze the retaining spring and unclip them from the headlight. Pull the headlight bulb out of the socket and replace it with a new bulb. Reverse the steps for installing. Be sure that the bulb is properly seated in the socket before trying to install it into the headlight. Headlight assembly removal. Disconnect the battery negative cable and remove the front bumper. Please see the link at the end of this video for assistance with that. This procedure will cover the left side headlight assembly. The right side is similar. Working at the headlight washer, as indicated by the red arrow, remove the Phillips head screw. Pull the headlight washer forward and detach the clip from the headlight assembly. Working at the bottom of the headlight, remove the lower fastener. You can see the nut at the front of the headlight, red arrow. Do not loosen or touch this. You want to work behind that nut below the fender and remove the 8mm fastener green arrow. Working at the top of the headlight assembly, remove the 8mm fastener as indicated by the red arrow. Working at the side of the headlight assembly, remove the 10mm fastener, red arrow. 
Disconnect the headlight electrical connectors. Slide the headlight forward, then remove the electrical connectors, red arrows, by pressing the release tabs and pulling them straight off. Working at the bottom of the headlight, yellow arrow, press the tab and slide the headlight washer, red arrow, out of the mounting bracket. To replace the headlight washer, press the release button, red arrow, and pull the line up in the direction of the green arrow. Be prepared to catch washer fluid in a bucket as it will leak. Flip the headlight over to service the control modules. To remove the xenon ballast, blue arrow, remove the three T25 torque fasteners as indicated by the red arrows. To remove the xenon headlight module, green arrow, remove the three T20 torque fasteners, red arrows. When removing the xenon module, inspect the module for corrosion. If needed, replace the module as well as the headlights. When removing the active headlight module, inspect the module for corrosion and replace as needed. Reverse the instructions for reinstallation. If you suspect one of the units is faulty, you can swap them side to side on the vehicle for diagnosis. Remember the xenon system works with a high voltage. Be sure the system is off and the key is out of the ignition. Disconnect the battery as we mentioned at the beginning. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.